everybody. Welcome back to Fun Day Sunday. Today we have a wonderful story to share with you. It's a story about a guy named Joshua. Now Joshua was a great leader in the Bible and he actually led a group of people called the Israelites. He led them into a new place to live that God had prepared just for them. So sit back, relax, and watch this awesome video. See you in a minute. Stories of the Bible. Joshua Leads. This is Joshua. Hello. Joshua was an Israelite who followed Moses through the wilderness. One, two, three, here we go. Oh, hey Joshua learned from Moses as Moses led the Israelites through the Red Sea. And as Moses taught the people about God's law. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, listen up. One day, Moses was talking to the Israelites. He was reminding them of the law and all that God had done for them. Yeah. I'll be here, all you. When Moses had finished giving instructions to the people, he said, I am no longer able to lead you. Oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. Hold on. Do not be afraid, for God will neither fail you nor abandon you. Yeah. Then Moses called Joshua Me? and told him to be strong and courageous, for he would lead the Israelites into the promised land. Well, see? Then Moses died. Uh... To this day, no one knows exactly where he was buried. The people and all of Israel mourned. The people of Israel looked to Joshua to lead them, as Moses had told them. There he is. Yeah. God told Joshua to be strong and courageous, for he would be with Joshua wherever he went. He told him to remember what Moses had told him and to study the book of instruction. God told Joshua that it was time to lead the people of Israel across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Okay, here we are. Joshua told the Israelite officials to go throughout the camp. Get out there. They instructed everyone to pack up and get ready to head out. Ah. Joshua told the Israelites they were going to cross the Jordan River. See here, this is what we're gonna do, okay? <gasps> and so. Joshua prepared to lead his people as the Lord had commanded. God allowed Joshua to do some amazing things in leading the people. He was a great leader. Now, who are the great leaders in your life? Maybe it's your mom or your dad, a grandparent. Maybe it's an older sibling. What about your teachers? Great leaders also need great followers. And as a great follower, that means to do what the leaders are asking you to do because God puts great leaders in our lives to help us. So I want you to repeat that with me. God puts great leaders in our lives to lead us. Well, that's it for today. See you next week on Fun Day Sunday.